bring your head down. Just keep on throwing the good. Beautiful hand movement. Oh my God. First off, um, congratulations. I saw you had a recent fight. I uh, scored a knockout. Was that right? Got you. Now, um, you got some big stuff on tap. August 15th, I'm down in Miami. Um, it's been, you know, you've been living there for a while, a little bit. Um, tell me about that. Um, yeah, so it's a WBC show. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me a call after my fight and uh, my um, the 25th. Um, they gave me a call and said, hey, you know, um, Congrats. And um, what what prompted the move to Miami and what's it been like living in that city and what do you think of it down there? Um, well, I had a connection with um, the whole area. And um, I mean, I ain't going to put them on blast. <laughs> but uh, I, already, I already told him how I feel. And it's just, it's, I mean, whatever. Uh, they were going to, I had an opportunity to, you know, sit with them and um, Pepe. Um, they were opening up, obviously, the Laurier TV. Everything was new, and the time to get into, you know, a team is when it's starting from ground up, not jump on when, you know, the ship is fucking yeah. feeling pretty nicely. Right. Um, so, so, um, so, yeah, so I moved out here, and uh, and right away, like, within, I don't know how long, um, I met up with um, Pepe and Oscar. We all, they all invited me to, you know, for dinner, and, um, and off the bat, like, Oscar reminded me, or actually, he said he remembered me. I don't know, you know. I, I, right. I thought I could know Oscar, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's super nice. He's super nice, but sometimes he's too nice, and it's just like, all right, you just, just fucking tell me the, the truth. You know, I don't care if it sounds horrible or whatever. Right. But uh, I prefer the truth than a sugar-coated lie. Um, but, yeah, he said he remembered me, and uh, he made me uh wild card um and yeah I, I remember meeting him a few times at wild card and um we sat down and we were just like okay well um he didn't tell me at that time then he sent me a message I think like a, few, a month went by and then he sent me a message on Instagram and I had that shit pictured like I captured that thing I was like mm -hmm. what the hell he said I was going to be his first woman that he signed for a uh, golden board promotion then he was like that is if you want to sign with Golden Board Promotion. And um, this was back, I think it was the uh, freaking beginning of the year. Yeah, I remember, I remember, yeah, like, uh, actually, like, February, I think, that he sent me that message. Um, so, I had a few opportunities here and there, but obviously I didn't want to take any because of what Oscar had told me, you know, and that's, I mean, truly, like, that's cool. I envisioned me signing with from the first day I stepped in the in the in the gym, making the boxing gym. Cool. Um, that's what I saw. I, I like just you know doing pretty well promoting me, you know, Sabina, you know, and uh, I won't like I know if it's all sad if I stay with our people, you know, I, but it, it's just that's who I, I truly would feel safe with. And I don't know, I don't I don't want to use the wrong words, but um, I don't know if you're getting what I'm trying to say. No, um, I feel you. That would, that would best represent who I am. Gotcha. I 
Got Coming you. from a you know background and how um, you know I'm not too. I have a family. I have a big family. I want to be a you know, positive. Uh, I mean, I ain't a perfect person. Lord knows that, but I'm, I'm just. I just don't want to be around certain things. And uh, yeah. Got um, you. So yeah, so that was a, that was what um, you know. Uh, what made me decide to move out to Miami, and um, I, it's been an up and down, I, I first loved it, and then I first, and then I hated it, and then I loved it again, um, once I surrounded myself with the right people out here, um, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good right now, I'm in a very good place, um, mentally, and, um, I'm surrounded by great people. Awesome. Um, um yeah. How is like the training? What what gyms do you hit up? I mean, and how do you feel yourself progressing as a fighter? Um, progressing, I I feel since I linked up with Milton Lacrosse, he's from New York. I mean, my style of fighting has completely changed. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited, especially for this fight. Like, I'm excited to showcase. You know. Uh, me, truly, my style, my new style, and uh, and just for oh, women's boxing, you know, I'm so excited for that. That they're going to put me on, you know, on TV. It's going to be aired, also, my fight. Mm-hmm. Um, awesome. And uh, my my training. I mean, it's been it's been great. Um, it's been great with Milton. Like I said, he's uh, taught me a lot on not getting hit. <laughs> it's, I mean, I would be like, oh, I can take a hit. Well, why the, why the hell would you take a hit if you don't have to take a hit? Even if you could take a hit, why would you do that to yourself? So um, he's helped me out a lot with my defense and um, on catching, flipping, and rolling, and much more naturally now. And I truly don't have to think too much about it. What do you think of uh, women's boxing? Um, you know, um, the the state of women's boxing today how would you like to see things improve and what's your goals and your mission uh, in the sport um women's boxing right now well I mean really there's nothing I saw that Ava signed with somebody from New York I believe and that's awesome um it's just unfortunate I mean that they I, I don't I don't know what the deal is with that or who that promotion company is that she's done with somebody and she's going to be active number one that's you know what what's important to be active as a fighter it doesn't it's, just, it's not you know mm. it's not great if you're signed with someone big and they don't put you to fight at all so um um women's boxing I mean just to respect women's boxing and to pay us what we fucking deserve like it's our, our fights are so much more better like maybe 75% of the time better than the guys fights we actually go all fucking out. And, um, and yeah, and then they pay us shit. And it's just, it's just frustrating. But, um, I mean, I can only change what is in my, you know, my control. And, um, I'll, I'll do what I, I obviously, I wanted to do what I can to help out. And, um, in the little time that I've been in boxing, um, I think, I've done a great job, and I'm not trying to, like, post on myself or anything like that, but I think I've done a great job on putting myself out there and, um, and not not um, lowering my morals to get to where I am. Or, you know, who knows? I, I mean, I ain't nobody big anyways, but <laughs> I think I've done a great job on uh, making sure I don't, yeah, I, I don't, you know, lose myself and who my family raised me to be in order to pursue my dream. I mean, if my dream, you know, was to do this, and yet I had to sleep with everybody and their grandpa, mm-hmm. I, I would I would let go of it. Awesome. It would be just, you know, not, not for me. And good, great, uh-huh. good stuff, a great talk. And I was going to ask, you know, a good way for fans to reach out to you, your Instagram is a, a real, real good updates there. Can you just tell them um, how they can reach you on Instagram and other outlets and st- stuff like that? Um, my Facebook is, I think, Maricela.tv, um, and then my Instagram is MariCornejoBoxing, at MariCornejoBoxing, I should say. Okay. And yeah. Well, 